Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a quick eBay auction for you. I took the piece of tie-dye fabric that was left over from the mother-daughter dresses that I made for Skylar and her mom Janet and I attached it to a brand new t-shirt that I picked up at Walmart and I am listing that on eBay as an auction. This is one that you guys will be bidding on. So I just want to tell you a little bit about it. First of all, I have perfected my method of attaching the t-shirt to the skirt. I have made so many of these in just the past few days and I just kept trying different things and I think I nailed it. I used a clear nylon thread because I didn't have any hot pink thread and I didn't want it to show on the t-shirt so I did that and then I used a zigzag stitch and I did it right at the base of the t-shirt you can barely see the stitching. See, the stitching is right here at the base. And it's just really the best way, the neatest way I have done it yet. I'm very happy with that method. So let me tell you a little bit about the shirt. This is Faded Glory brand that I got at Walmart. This one happens to be an extra large, which is a size 16, 18. It's a woman's shirt, not kids, not junior. It is woman's. As you can see in the images, this skirt is quite long. I could have trimmed it, but I'd rather leave it long for somebody who's tall and would like it long. For those of you who need it shorter, you can just cut off as much as you want off the bottom. I don't want you to be all paranoid about that step. Very easy to do. I am going to tell you, I will not be altering. If you win and you email me and you say, I'm... 5'4", and I need it to go to mid-calf, it isn't happening. I would need you here so I could put a pin exactly where you want it. Not only that, this is going to be packaged and ready to go. I'm not doing any alterations on the stuff that I put on eBay. It's just ready to go. You buy it. You pay attention to the sizes and the instructions, and I'm going to tell you how to shorten it. First of all, no hemming on this. It's just the raw edge and you can wash this a hundred times and it's not going to run. It can curl up a little tiny bit. That's the most it's going to do. It's nice and flowy without a hem. You hem uh, knits and sometimes it can be puckery. Just don't like to mess with it. Also, this saves me time. And why hem it? You're most likely going to cut it anyway. And I want you to know you don't have to hem it after you cut it. So if you've ever watched my videos, I just lay the dress down flat. You might want to fold it over a couple times. Just cut straight across. First, obviously, put the dress on. I suggest you wash it and dry it. If you normally dry your clothes, put it in the dryer so the t-shirt can shrink to whatever it's going to shrink to. Try it on. Point to somebody as to where you want it on the leg, where you want it to end. Stand straight. Let somebody put a pin at that mark of your leg, you know. Take it off. Lay it flat. Cut across at that point. And the only thing you have to do after that is, after you cut, the one seam at the side of the skirt would be able to unravel now because it's not secure. So you'd want to take a needle and thread and just put a couple of stitches right there. You know, just a couple of stitches. You can handle that. You really can. If you don't even want to take a needle and thread, you can get some fabric glue. Washable fabric glue that is permanent, like um, Liquid Stitch, I believe, is the name of one of them. Or, if you're really lazy, you can always just put a little safety pin there and you can leave that there forever. Nobody's going to look under your skirt, we don't think, and see that safety pin. But you do want to do that or the thread, you know, could unravel. If you don't have needle and thread, almost any dollar store or any cash register, like at Walmart, a lot of times they have the little kits. Go to the dollar store, pick up a dollar kit with some thread and a needle, and you can make a few stitches there. I have not pre-washed the t-shirt, so it's just like I got it at Walmart. I do have the measurements on eBay, and also, I'll just tell you here, the bust is approximately 40 inches around. Could be a little tiny bit bigger. The hips right where the hem of the t-shirt is is where I measured that is 47 the length from the top of the shoulder all the way down to the very bottom of the skirt is 58 inches long 
The t-shirt itself is 100% cotton. Again, I haven't washed it yet. Uh, the fabric for the skirt is 100% polyester. It's a stretch knit. And I guess that's about all I need to tell you. You probably have seen me make a few of these. Again, I did this one a little bit differently, but I will still put a playlist link down below to the other dresses that I made similar to this. This one I did not record. I just wanted to knock it out so I could have an auction for you guys. The colors on my images are terrible. You may know I just moved my mannequins downstairs. I do not have good lighting for them. I mainly do things in the afternoon or at night so I'm going to have to get set up with some lighting so let me just show you again this is the color of the t-shirt it's the typical like hot pink color that you see and the skirt is probably more vibrant than it looks in the pictures it's very very cool I'm only listing this one for five days because I want it to end while Skylar is still here if you end up bidding I hope you win thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with more soon bye I always forget to mention this, but the link to the eBay auction is in the description below and also in the comments. Thanks!